Kapitan Klubnikov. This vessel was built in Finland and sails under the Russian flag. It's a polar-class icebreaker that combines power and technology with creature comforts. It operates as a cruise ship taking passengers to the Arctic and Antarctic regions. Passenger accommodation consists of 54 cabins and suites, with two dining rooms, a lounge and a bar. Facilities include a heated indoor swimming pool, exercise room and sauna, theater-style auditorium and shop. There's even a library, stocked with polar-themed books. If you're looking to take a trip, deep into the Arctic region, this might be the ship you travel there on. Next up is the Andrei Vilkitsky. This impressive icebreaker sails under the Russian flag. Its primary purpose is as a support vessel to escort oil tankers through the Gulf of Ob. It's 121 meters in length and is powered by hybrid diesel electric engines. These engines are so powerful, it can break through ice as thick as six and a half feet. Most icebreakers break the ice in a forward direction, but this vessel can break ice going backwards as well, making it highly maneuverable. This ship is perfectly suited for demanding ice breaking and escort operations in consolidated ridge fields and compressive pack ice. In 2018 the Zhu Long 2 entered service under the Chinese flag. This icebreaker functions as a polar research vessel, and there's accommodation on board for 90 crew and scientists. As you can see, there's a laundromat on board, and a kitchen and dining area. The ship is categorized as a Polar 3 class icebreaker, and it's capable of breaking ice up to 5 feet thick. Aside from all the necessary appliances needed for long trips, there's also a recreational area. In fact the ship is capable of making trips as long as 90 days at a time. Unlike its predecessor, the Zhu Long, this ship is powered by a hybrid diesel-electric motor, and can reach a top speed of 15 knots. The largest and most technologically advanced icebreaker in the United States, is the USCGC Healy. The Healy was built in Louisiana, but its home port is Seattle. On September 5, 2015, the Healy became the first unaccompanied U.S. vessel to reach the North Pole. The Healy features a flight deck, enabling Coast Guard helicopters to land. It has an attached hangar that houses two Eurocopters and three small boats. The design of the ship enables it to break ice that's 10 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots. In 2003, the Healy received a special award for successfully helping a freighter and tanker navigate the icy seas to resupply the McMurdo Station in the Arctic. The SA Orgullis was made in Finland, and sails under the South African flag. It's a supply and research ship used to travel to the South African research stations in the Antarctic. Costing 116 million euros, it's rated as a Polar Class 5 vessel. This means it can break ice that's 3.3 feet thick at a speed of 5 knots. The decks of the Orgullis are heated, and she can operate in temperatures as low as minus 31 degrees Fahrenheit. The Orgullis has a crew of 45, and has space for 100 passengers in its 46 cabins. Its helideck and hangar serve two Atlas Oryx helicopters, and two fast rescue boats can also be used in case of an emergency. This Japanese icebreaker is operated by the Japanese Navy. It's called the Shirase 5003, named after the Shirase Glacier, and it's used for missions in the Antarctic. The ship was manufactured in 2008 in Japan. 
It measures 138 meters long by 28 meters wide. This icebreaker is capable of traveling through ice that's 3.3 feet thick, at a speed of 3 knots. When traveling in the open seas, its hybrid diesel-electric engines propel it to an impressive speed of 19.5 knots. The Shirase carries three helicopters on board and can accommodate 80 scientists, in addition to her crew. The Le Commandant Charco is the world's only luxury icebreaker cruise ship. It's a Polar Class II rated icebreaking vessel, capable of reaching remote polar destinations, such as the geographic North Pole. On board, there's luxury accommodation for 270 passengers, and you can explore the parts of the Arctic that other expedition vessels can't reach. The ship is designed to have a minimal effect on the environment, with technological innovations such as hybrid propulsion and an advanced wastewater treatment system. Included in your fare are all your meals and drinks, excursions, and use of the fitness center. There are two restaurants on board, and should the weather be too cold for the outdoor pool, you can always take a swim in the heated indoor pool. The rooms are fitted out with all the features you can expect from a luxury hotel. The Tamir. This nuclear-powered icebreaker was built in Finland and sails under the Russian flag. It was manufactured in 1988 at the Helsinki shipyard in Finland, and it's among the largest polar icebreakers ever built. Its nuclear electric motors produce 16,000 horsepower and can break through ice that's 7 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots. The Tamir has a traditional icebreaker hull, with a highly raked stem and sloping sides. This reduces the ice loads in compressive ice fields and improves maneuverability. On board there's a large auditorium, and even a winter garden, that provides the crew with fresh vegetables. The ship is capable of remaining at sea for seven months with its crew of more than 100 people. Construction on this next icebreaker started in 1989 in Russia. Originally named the Ural, its name was later changed to 50 Let Pobody, which means 50 years of victory. After a very lengthy construction time, the icebreaker took to sea in March 2007. This ship is known for its exceptional maneuverability and an impressive top speed of 21.5 knots. She can break through ice that's 8.2 feet thick, and she carries a crew of 140 people. Not only is the ship used for research, but it also doubles as an Arctic tourist vehicle. Passengers can pay up to $45,000 for a two-week trip to the North Pole. The ship has an exercise facility, a swimming pool, a library, a restaurant, a massage facility, and a music salon at the crew's disposal. We end our list in this video with a class of icebreaker ships called Arctica. These are the largest icebreakers in the world. Ships in this class are built in Russia and are owned by the Russian government. These ships have been produced since 2016 in anticipation of decreasing ice and increasing ship traffic. These ships are capable of breaking through ice that's 10 feet thick at a speed of three knots. The ships are 148 meters long and 30 meters wide. The nuclear turboelectric motors propel three propellers and give the ships a top speed of 20.6 knots. The Yamal is an icebreaker in the Arctic class and is known as the Shark of the Arctic. If you enjoyed this video or learnt a few new facts, let us know in the comments. And check out the rest of the channel for more great videos. We'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks. See you in the next one.